Happy Friday, boys and girls. Um, I miss you today. This is Mrs. Arns. Um, we have been working on our lines faithfully because we know that if we can do all of our lines, that we can draw anything in the world that we want to draw. So today for our lesson, you're going to need a piece of paper, the tall, long way, like a skyscraper. If you don't have a piece of paper this thin, you could take a piece of paper like this. Notice I have something on here, which is okay. I'm going to fold that to the middle like this so that my paper looks like a skyscraper. See how tall I can make that? And that way I can use this side and this side if when we are there. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is I want you to practice all of your lines. So get out some crayons, many colors, um, and we're going to do different colors for every line. So let's begin. The first line that we have been learning about is a straight line. So pick a color and let's do a straight line. Put it right at the top, making sure you go from edge to edge so that we have room for the rest of our lines down this page. Pick a new crayon. And remember, this is one of the harder lines, the curved line, but we take it really slow. And if we talk it out, we can do it together. So here we go. Up the hill, over the hill, down the hill, swing. Up the hill, over the hill, down the hill, swing. Up the hill, over the hill, down the hill, swing. Very good. Good job. I love that you are just trying. If you have trouble with that, that's okay because we are just practicing. So just make sure that you're practicing. And the big thing is the swing at the bottom and the hill at the top. Good job. All right. The next line is the dotted line. And remember, we talked about how if we do this, not pe people can't see it on our paper. So we're going to make it like a little circle or a giant period. Dot, 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 dot. Good job. Um, notice how I'm putting them right nice and tight so I have room for all the rest of our lines down the page. Let's pick a new color. Ooh, I like this color, but mine is kind of broken, so I'm going to use a little teeny tiny one. And this is the broken line or the dash. Sometimes when Mrs. Arn says put K dash F for Mr. Fosberg, you would see something like this. That's a dash. Stop. 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 Good job. Good job. Pick a new color. Pick a new color. I picked this um, thing of oil pastels that I'm using because it has many colors in it. So hopefully the crayons that you have or the markers that you have have lots of colors. So I'm picking a new color and this time I want to do a zigzag line. Remember a zigzag line is pointy at the top. It looks kind of like a rooftop or a top of a triangle. Here we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, let me pick a new color. I'm going to pick another color. Oh, I tend to go for all the purples and the pinks, but all right, here we go. The next line is going to be the thin line. Remember the thin line? Remember, we have to put our pencil very tall or our crayon very tall so that we can make the line very thin. And I better get a little bit darker color here. And here we go. We're going to make it nice and thin. Keep that hand off the paper so it's nice and thin. There you go. Did you put your squinters on? Because you can hardly see it, remember. All right, the next line, take a new color. And the next line is going to be the thick line. Remember how we do that? We draw two lines close together. 
and then we color it in. But we don't go just like this and show a lot of that white underwear in there. We want to make sure that our whole line is colored in like this. Excellent. If you have any spaces you need to cover, just go ahead and do that. Perfect. Perfect. I love the way that you're trying so hard and working right along with me. The next line that we're going to work on is the bumpy line. And the bumpy line, that one's the one that reminds me of a frog hopping from lily pad to lily pad. So here we go. Jump, 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 jump jump good job now who can guess what the next line is we always do these two together because they look so cool together the next one is the cloudy line and the cloudy line is just the opposite or upside down from this one and we we do the swing like at the bottom of the curvy line so here we go ready swing 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 and look how cool that looks together let's talk we can use um our bumpy and our cloudy line for lots of different things and we're going to talk about that in a little bit how can we use those all right the next line that we're going to do is going to be the castle line and the castle line is the one where we talked about we can make the cat make castles with that yes all right so it goes like this straight across up straight across down straight across up straight across down straight across up straight across down straight across very good good trying it looks almost like a square on the top and if we would turn it over the other side looks just the same a square all right next well i gotta get a new crayon here next we're going to do the loopy line remember this and we're just going to do the tiny one this time not the great big one and here we go loop Loopy, 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 loopy. Awesome. Awesome work. All right. New crayon, new crayon. Let's see. I'll try this one. All right. And the next line is going to be the Mickey Mouse ears. Remember the Mickey Mouse ears? They go like this. Straight line, mouse ear, straight line, mouse ear, straight line, mouse ear, straight line. Excellent, excellent. New crayon, new crayon. All right, let me see. I think I want to do a purple. All right. The next one is a spiral. And remember that one goes like this. Put your pencil on the paper, your crayon on the paper, and go right around in a circle around it. Spiral spiral nice and slow so you get that nice spiral 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 all right very good and the next one is remember my favorite one because i just love making slashes they're just the best are you ready for the slashes here we go slash 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 excellent but you know what i ran out of paper but that's okay because guess what i'm gonna just turn my paper over there we go all right so my next one is going to be the lightning and the lightning is like a sideways zigzag so the sideways zigzag goes like this so you could make lightning out of that zigzag or lots of other cool things, right? That's a special kind of zigzag. And then the last line that we have is going to be the circle chain. Now you can do all kinds of different lines with shapes. So if you want to practice some shape lines, I'll do one at the end just for you to practice. If you want to do other lines like a shape line, you can be happily do that. And that's really good too. So here we go. Straight line, circle, straight line, circle, straight line, circle straight line 
circle. Excellent. Now, if you wanted to do something where you put some shapes together, one of the ones that you could do would be like a triangle line like this and put all those triangles together. And if you did this, this could be like dinosaur teeth or mountains or lots of different things. Or you could do something like this. You could do something like a, let's see if I can find a different color crayon. You could do something like a, oh, let's see, an oval. Can you see that one? That's pretty light for you to see. An oval square, oval square, oval square. Now where could we do an oval square? We could do that anywhere. We could make decorations with that. You could do a combination line like a dot and a spiral, a dot and a spiral, dot, spiral, dot. Or you could do something like this where you did a straight line and a zigzag and another straight line, right? That's a good, good design. We see that a lot around places. So I want you just to practice a few lines. And when you are finished with your lines, I would like you to use these lines to create something. So you could create something like an ice cream cone or a castle. And so I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration on an ice cream cone. We would use our bumpy or our cloudy line to make the top of the ice cream cone. All right, and then we could pick like a brown color to do the ice cream cone and the ice cream cone would be made with a bottom of a zigzag like this. All right, but now the cone doesn't look just like this. So you might use some straight lines to put some diagonals on there and you could go the other way. Awesome. Nope, I'm going to put one more here because it looks like it's missing it. All right, and then in our ice cream cone, we could add things like slashes. We better do some pink, like bubble gum. And these little slashes look like what? Sprinkles. You could do all different color sprinkles if you want. You could do some spirals in there to make it look like little candies on your ice cream cone. Awesome. Awesome. And then you could color the whole thing in. And remember, we're using good craftsmanship, all the same direction in our coloring, no scribbles and no underwear. All right, let's turn our paper over and maybe we could do a castle. So you can choose one of the two of these. And to do a castle, you would start with maybe a square like this. And you could put another square or rectangle alongside. What do you think we would put at the top? Of course, the castle lines. Let's do the castle lines. Good. I'm going to do it all on um, both, all of mine. Oh, you could add lots of things to this. You could add some rectangles for bricks. You can use a curved line for a doorway. You could use one of those slashes for a sidewalk or some grass. You could put a flag on here. So you would be using the zigzag. So if I did a flag, it might look like this. And you can add all kinds of things to this. You could put flowers down here. So let's add our bumpy line and make a flower. All right. Awesome. So I just did a really quick job of it, but you could add all kinds of details like a sky and some grass and things. And then I would like you to take a picture of whatever you drew with your lines and send it to Seesaw for Mrs. Arns. And that's it for today and have a great and wonderful day.